Hey, it's Dan here. And what I'm going to be cooking up for you today in the Dutch oven is these uh, Tyson Premium Cornish Hens. So let me get these out of the package, get them all cleaned up and everything, and I'll be right back with you and we'll get to cooking. Alright, we got these little Cornish Hens. Uh, I patted them dry and everything for the most part. I'm going to rub them down with a little extra virgin olive oil. Just get a good liberal coat on both sides of the olive oil. Let me wipe my hand down real quick. And then what I got for my seasoning today, I've got some of this uh, Montreal chicken. It's uh, made by McCormick's. I'm going to spread a real good amount on both sides. All right, let me get some stuff moved around. I'll be right back and we'll get these in the Dutch oven. All right, I've got my uh, Camp Chef 12 inch deep. It's the deluxe and uh, I already got it oiled down inside. I'm gonna set these in here. I'm gonna set them on their head and try to get them to stand up as good as I can. Now, since I love one pot meals, I'm going to make everything else in the same pot with them. So I'm going to start out, and we're going to put us a little bit of a corn between them. And this is just the frozen corn you get from your freezer section. And I'm going to try to put two ears between each one if I'm capable of it. Get those legs and wings to move out of my way. Alright, looks like that was perfectly made for this pan. Then next what I'm going to do, I got three pounds of uh, red potatoes. I just went ahead and I bought the bird's eye that are uh, frozen. Um, they're the roasted red peppers and garlic and oil seasoning. I don't know if all three pounds will go in the middle, but I'll put as many as I can. Let's put a few more in there. We can put some on top of the corn. I got, well, I'm putting the whole three pounds in here just because I really have no use for about a half pound that I had left. So let me get that spread out nice and even.
And then next what I'm going to do is I just got a box of this stuffing. I'm not mixing it or anything. I'm just going to sit here and try my best to uh, put a bunch of stuffing in the middle of these. That one looks full. That one's full. Now let's get this bad boy right here. And this is a six ounce box and it looks like these three chickens will hold right at about five ounces but I'll get the rest of this crammed in here. That looks like I have about an ounce or so left over. Alright, then I'm going to put just a little bit of chicken stock in here, just to add a little moisture to the pot. I'm going to say roughly 8 to 10 ounces is what I put in there. Alright, well, my coals are almost ready, so... I'll be back with you here in just a minute when I get it on the fire. All right, my coals are ready. So uh, let me get these dumped out real quick. And once again, I'm using my Camp Shift cook table. I love this thing. I can't believe it took me so long to buy one. If you guys are into Dutch oven cooking, you really need to get one of these. Um, I'm going to start out since this is a 12 deep and I'm wanting this to cook at 375. I'm going to start out with 11 on the bottom. And then I'm probably going to do 16 on the top, maybe 17. Some of these coals look like they're broken a little bit. see what I have here one two three all right let me grab the pot make sure it's sitting over that and one thing I don't know if I've ever mentioned in my other videos always make sure that your bottom coals are on the outer ring of the pan you don't want them under the center or anything um, it, you don't want to scorch anything. You want to heat the outer edge. Um, cast iron has such good uh, uh, heat value or whatever, you know. It conducts heat so well that uh, you don't want it underneath. So let me get these on here. I'm going to cook this for approximately an hour. I'm looking for an internal temperature on the uh, chicken. Uh, at least 160, between 160, 165 is my goal. But I'll be right back with you guys. We'll get everything going, and hopefully, I end up with some beautiful game hens. Well, you know the old saying, "Timing's everything." My neighbor decided to start mowing right as this is getting done. It's been on about an hour and ten minutes. I lost track of time a little bit. Mmm, everything looks good. Uh, the stuffing that was on the outside, because I, I put too much in, it's a little dry, but that inside looks real moist. So let's check these. Oop, hit a bone there. We don't want a bone. 
Let's check these birds out. Alright, let me see this one here. sorry about that I let him go by the mower for a second um, these two right here are about 162 this one's about 158 but I think this one weighed just a little bit more but once I put the lid on take everything inside it's still gonna be cooking for a few minutes and everything so uh, I'm gonna call these done I'm gonna get everything plated up I'll be back with you for my taste test best part about cooking it's this taste test right here um, I don't know if you can see my messy plate I kind of did a butcher job of uh, cutting the uh, game hen up but uh, let me take a bite right here's a little piece of wing very very tender very good that actually turned out better than I thought it would that is very good let me try my stuffing because I know during this whole video everybody's worried about I put that stuffing in dry. It is very moist. Mm. It draws in all its juices from the uh, uh, Cornish hen. Does a great job. Tastes delicious. If you guys like this recipe or my video or whatnot, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment. I respond to every comment that I get. Well, I'm going to go inside, sit at the table, and finish eating with my family. But y'all have a blessed day, and thank you for watching.